All right, so this is gonna be specifically about cleansing the heart chakra, you know, because the heart chakra is one of those centers of energy that has to do with your heart organ. You know, if you don't necessarily cleanse your heart chakra, or if you don't learn to let go of a dry heart and keep your heart open, then there's gonna be certain information in the environment or certain information that you may not be able to interpret due to you locking that spectrum. So now that chakra's receiving and giving mechanism is offline and things like that just due to it receiving some flunk that ass you know spectrums through, through certain experiences that may be traumatic and shit like that so we may develop a dry heart or we may choose to just keep our heart locked away and not open up anymore not realizing that we're actually locking away one 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 of one form of intelligence that is actually quite incredible the heart is a is a very powerful uh organ and things like that in fact it's the first organ that we make right but a lot of the times sometimes uh you know depending on who did you have an experience by or around that caused that caused you to have a you know a closed heart or a dry heart just from the experience experiences and shit like that right um a lot of the times we can experience such traumatic memories such traumatic uh, events and things like that and those events are uh, repeated unfortunately when these events are repeated because the people in our environment uh, our caretakers right they may not know what they're actually doing aka them being vibrationally flunked out themselves because of a generational curse that they didn't necessarily inspect get underneath the uh garage and shit like that and actually check out why is that piping system working that way aka why am i constantly angry why am i always pissed off uh you know why am i always feeling un uneasy and things like that because a lot of the times these spiritual stds we can pass them along to the people in our environment and we can have uh, our spiritual stench a uh, stench the shit that we didn't take care of kind of exude some form of energy that we're not aware we're giving off and to a really spiritual person they might get a whiff of that they might be like mm, you know i don't want nothing to do with this person because i know what spiritual what state of being they're resonating in right now and i don't want to get affected by it you know that's if you are that's if you are at this level and now you understand that your energy is sacred and you have to protect your energy but before you even get to protecting your energy a lot of the times we have things inside of us that we still need to take care of and shit like that. And that's specifically why I'm speaking about on, on the, the subject of the heart chakra, right? Because I can relate to this a lot. A lot of the experiences I had growing up made me uh, cold hearted towards, uh, you know, just not cold hearted towards everybody in general. Because uh, I got information from the world when I was younger, certain experiences and events that told me, hey, if you open your heart, you're going to get hurt. But like I was saying earlier, when you don't open your heart, you're also missing out on information in your environment that you can use as well to navigate through your environment, which is actually very beautiful to be able to interpret your reality through the full uh, ability, the full holistic range of your spiritual body, which is which which is what you're here supposed to do anyways. You're awakening your spiritual bodies more and more and shit like that, right? But we have to learn to kind of clean ourselves up just because a lot of the experiences we got from this world and the only reason we in this world is because we attached to the energies that are in this world. And this world is very parasitical. This world here is very negative. This world here, uh, you know, is very animalistic in nature and shit like that. How we engage with our natures and things like that. Like, we're learning how to stop being so animalistic and how to actually be real men and women in terms of how we move mentally. A.K.A. not getting stuck emotionally in an experience just because of how that influence affected us and shit like that by just knowing how to navigate that uh event and things like that right because negative things happen to everybody but it's about how we navigate through these events that makes you a i don't want to say a better man but it makes you a more efficient more effective man and woman and things like that right so a lot of the times we may experience certain events right that cause us to close our heart and be like fuck it we're not going to open up to the world because really we're just afraid we're going to get hurt again but see we're not going to be able to sense the spiritual presence within that person outside of us that potentially even might be for us it might be our other half our twin flame soul flame mate or whatever the fuck people call it we're not going to be able to decode that if we don't have our heart open in the first because the heart this the heart is interpreting information in your environment right 
Same thing with the gut. The gut is also interpreting information in your environment. That's why you say things like, oh, I got a gut feeling. Oh, I feel I feel like, you know, this, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what's right for me in this situation, right? Because your whole body is interpreting the information that's going on in the external environment and is trying to decode the best course of action that's for you or just trying to relay towards you, the observer, to these organs, these minds, what information is going on externally in the environment via colliding through you. But that information, but that's the thing that when we get traumatized, when we get trauma uh, bounded to something, we don't allow that information to flow how it's just supposed to. That means we let the information in, but that information, it gets stuck in there, right? So we got to learn to go into our heart chakra and start because that information being stuck in our heart it kind of becomes like mucus like mucus is a substance that's hard to get rid of in your body health wise so that's like you developing some form of mental mucus that's not hard to get rid of because it's been there now for so long right and a lot of the times we may think that our experiences are valid yeah now i have to have a closed heart because this one person uh you know this 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 parent or whoever uh, you know, you may be blaming for your situation, did that to you. But regardless of that, you're supposed to let go of that event because that's just the one event, right? But it's unfortunate because a lot of times when we were children, that's the impressionable age and that's the age that we kind of get attached to our experiences. So if you had a lot of negative experiences and shit like that, then you might just think life is negative, life is just, this is just the way life is. But you need to understand that that, that memory has a vibrational resonance in it so it carries in it an emotion right but when you're when you don't know how to let go of that emotion and just actually rationally think about the memory then you kind of allow this memory to to bring you into the past so when you go to the past when you start observing your past and your body is in the present you bring all that information with you to the present so you bring that trauma with you to the present. You bring that drama with you to the present. The same the same chemical alchemy that happened at that moment when you got traumatized, whatever event you experienced, via you bringing that experience into the present, via you just looking through it to try to analyze your current now and shit like that. It's like you just kind of like shooting yourself in the foot. You just fucking yourself up. Because really now, you're not even understanding what's going on in the present because you may have been a little kid back then, but now you're an adult. So now you, there's certain powers that you have access to that you don't use because you believe you're powerless. So let's say your caretaker was beating you up when you was a kid, right? Shit like that. You might be led to believe that or you might feel like you're helpless. You might feel like you're powerless and things like that. But when you are, have grown out of those experiences physically but your heart chakra might still be there emotionally you might be a grown-ass man you got muscles and all that shit, but you today still believe that you're helpless and you're powerless and you're bringing all that information from the past into the present rather than letting that information just simply pass through you and leave the other way and that's harder said than done because we emotionalize we make it so personal we like we just make it personal like we just think that's your fate that's your destiny and the devil is punishing you and this is what god is doing it uh, against you and blah but god is not doing none of those things like we just in a flunked that ass fucked up retarded ass world in the first place right and us being in this world, that means that we was just as flunked out, just as retarded, just as slow and shit like that for us to even create a body mentally, a mental body, right? That went into a physical body that actually injected us into this world and shit like that. So you need to know that your mind in some type of way resembled the world that you came into. This is why you might think, oh, God, why are you doing this to me? Oh, God, I don't deserve this, blah, blah, blah. But it's not God. It's not doing none of it. It's like you did it to yourself because you vibrated to this goddamn plane. So let's not play, blame the, the goddamn plane. Let's not blame the goddamn dimension. Let's not blame God. Let's not blame nobody. Let's be accountable for ourselves and understand that, yes, some of us is traumatized individuals and shit like that, like myself. And... You have to accept your experiences because your experiences are making you who you are. And whether you like it or not, what, whatever 
tough weathering storm you experience for an extended period of time. You need to understand that you going through that experience, God, because God, because God, when God gives you the knowledge of something, He takes you through the experience of something. So no matter how catastrophic what you've experienced was, you going through that experience, you going through that event that's made of different spectrums, different periodic tables and shit like that. Once you go through that, it's giving you the knowledge of something. Now you become a more aware of something, right? Now, when you are able to beat that demon that was created inside of you, based on just you going through that experience, and that experience gave birth to something inside of you, because now you reacted to that experience. So now that, that impulse is like transliterating in you, it's vibrating through you and shit like that. Um... Yeah, at some point though, you gotta let go of those things because when when you know something is not serving you, when you know something is not serving your highest possible good, you gotta be able to let it go because you're forever gonna be experiencing life through that lens, and you don't wanna play out no victim role in life by you not taking con power and control or you just cleansing something that need to be cleansed, aka something that need to be let go of, something that you don't need to hold on to anymore. But we think. Holding on to these things is natural because when we we pissed off and angry when we go to the grocery store right now Everybody pissed off and angry and stressed out. So what you think you're gonna uh, What you think you're gonna tell yourself you're gonna tell yourself? Yeah, man, it's normal to be pissed off. It's normal to be angry So if I gotta uh, if something happened to me uh, and I'm angry something happened to me when I was a kid and I'm angry Yeah, it's justified bro. I, I should be pissed off while really you don't have to be and you know Anger, aka aggression, works when it comes to changing certain things, but you really being angry and pissed off against yourself, and that's not no healthy vibration for you to be in, and all you're getting ready to do is be angry, pissed off towards someone outside of you that ain't got nothing to do with whatever the fuck got you flunked out inside of you. So we be f shooting ourselves in the foot, and we be shooting everybody in the foot, and we just think like shooting niggas in the foot is normal. Hell no, that shit ain't normal. That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool whatsoever. Real shit. Because we should all be adults. We should all be mature spirits to understand that, okay, I guess I have accumulated energy from that space and now I need to cleanse it. Because the same way when I get my car oil changed and I drive for a certain amount of time, I know I can't use the same oil. Otherwise, it's going to fuck up that fluid, that emotion in the car. If we were to look at it as a real person, it would start to fuck up other organs like the engine, the brain, and shit like that. So if you don't get rid of that fluid, that emotion, it's going to start to fuck with the function of your brain, your gut, and all types of shit. So you want to be able to let go of these things at a timely fashion so you don't create no catastrophic type situation for yourself or for someone else to experience because you don't know how to take care of like your own problems and shit like that but yeah i'll be speaking on that uh more and shit like that because i know that's one of the biggest things that i had to learn to do for myself so i can move on from the space that where i was at so i can move on to a new space and start to actually accumulate new experiences and with those new experiences i can decide hmm do i like those experiences and if I like those experiences, okay, let me keep having those experiences. But eventually, once you keep having experiences, you're going to get tired of those experiences. So you want to do it in a positive way. You don't want to keep experiencing negative shit because your spirit, either way, will create some type of circumstance situation for you to get the fuck out of that emotion. No matter how many times you have to keep experience being heartbroken or rejected for you to not to care about that, your spirit might even keep putting you through that and shit like that. So you want to just make sure that you mature enough to let go of these things and actually create consciously and deliberately rather than letting the accumulations in your subconscious create your reality for you because we don't want that we don't want your subconscious creating your reality for you we do want it doing that but we want it doing that in our in our way right we want to set the terms and conditions right we don't want to have some past childhood terms and conditions like i was saying earlier how you might have grew up powerless in your situation because you might have like you might have like an abusive parent but you bring that powerlessness you bring that helplessness into your present moment so when you're at your job you let people at work take advantage of you because you feel helpless you feel like you can't you're powerless so you can't possibly 
change the circumstance or situation that you're in. So you just let things play out. You're like, oh yeah, if God has mercy on me today, uh, today is going to be the day, brother. I'll pray it in the church. I'm going to come to work and people are going to be nice to me. While you're not establishing clear boundaries to tell people how far they can go with you. So it's like, I don't know, man, we'll be flunked out. You better be flunked out, right? But we figure, we're figuring our way throughout this shit. We're figuring our way throughout this shit. And that's what we all here for, right? Just because we experience something, we shouldn't get stuck in it. We should allow ourselves, we should allow it to leave our spiritual and mental body so we can actually create something new in its stead. Because if we're of our cup, our mind is full of parasitical, bullshit ass experiences if we don't know now analyze the experience logically but don't get emotional about it like your girl left you so what analyze it don't fucking get emotional about it it is what it is bro it is what it is real fucking shit